testicle with teeth. Deadpool is the story of Wade Wilson, played by Ryan Reynolds. Outside of being a whole lot of crazy, Wade is a military trained mercenary taking on small jobs to make ends meet. He meets the love of his life, a smoking hot stripper named Vanessa, played by Monorena Bokarin. Unfortunately for Wade, he gets diagnosed with late stage cancer and has to entrust himself with this guy named Ajax, who's in charge of this big military project, changing humans into super soldiers. Yeah, you've heard this story before, it's almost Captain America, but trust me, it's not that movie. This guy is crazy. While Wade does get superpowers, he does come out looking like this. Hellbound in revenge, he goes on a killing spree all around Manhattan, trying to look for the man that turned him like that. So, is it any good? Yes. Hell's yes. Hell's yes times 50. With some of the greatest marketing campaigns I've ever seen, I was almost ready to call Fox's bluff, because I didn't really think Deadpool was going to live up to its hype. Was it going to look as good as the trailers? Was it going to live up to that MA rating that everyone wanted it to hit? Or was it going to be left back in the trenches like X-Men Origins Wolverine? God, I hope not. If the only version of Deadpool you know is the one from X-Men Origins Wolverine, then cut that character out of your mind, because this ain't him. He's an hilarious, fourth wall breaking wise ass that knows he's a comic book character. He's a highly skilled weapons expert with super healing. That's it. He doesn't have blades coming out of his arm. He doesn't have lasers coming out of his eyes. And he certainly doesn't have his mouth sewn shut. If you've ever wanted to see a comic book character taken straight from the comic books and lifted straight to the screen, this is your movie. Ryan Reynolds not only stars in this movie, he produces it. So he has a lot of control on what the movie's going to look like and how the character's going to be represented on the screen. And he wasn't exactly going to let him be destroyed like he has been before. Deadpool's got to be the funniest movie I've seen in ages. From the opening credits to the scene after the credits. Yeah, that's right. It's got a scene after the credits. It's a Marvel movie. Of course it has a scene after the credits. If you're one of those people that are leaving straight after the movie, I don't know what's wrong with you. Wait till after the credits. There's always something. Deadpool is a little bit of everything. Action, blood and guts, boobs, romance, emotionally driven characters, and some sweet anti-hero superhero -ness. Yeah, that's a word. Deadpool has some of the most brutal scenes that I've seen in a cinema since Kill Bill. I'm talking like guys getting flung from cars and going head first into a billboard, becoming mincemeat. <laughs> yep, that brutal. Funny is an understatement. This is one of those films where you'll be quoting it for the next two weeks. No longer will you be saying Ryan Reynolds was at the top of his game when Van Wilder. Deadpool is now that movie. For sure. There's no way Marvels are getting this character back anytime soon. So forget seeing him playing with the Avengers. They've nailed this character. He ain't going back. Deadpool knows he's in a film. And he knows that Ryan Reynolds is playing him. In fact, he knows you're watching him too. He breaks the fourth wall so much that the fourth wall even gets broken. I'm not really going to explain how that happens. You just have to see the movie. With Deadpool coming out so early in 2016, I didn't think the movie was going to live up to the hype. And I thought it was going to fall a bit flat. And I'd be still waiting to see those big guns like Batman v Superman and Captain America Civil War. I'll be honest, now that I've seen Deadpool, I'm pretty sure the big guns are going to have a pretty hard time topping this. In fact, I'm pretty sure that anything from 2016 is going to have a hard time topping this. Deadpool is in cinemas from February 11th in Australia, so do yourself a favour and check it out. Even if you don't like superhero movies at all, I guarantee you'll dig this. That's it for this one. I'm Ryan from So Is It Any Good. Make sure you check out the site, and if you like what you saw here, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, keep checking out those movies, and hopefully I'll see you in the cinema.